Next up, I would like to invite a dynamic duo up to the stage. We have Rosie and Gren from the Immersive Business Team. Uh, Rosie is an experienced business coach and consultant, plus the resident spatial audio expert on the Immersive Business Team, I believe. Uh, Gren is an immersive technology specialist with a long track record of creative and technological projects. The bio he sent over had more acronyms in it than I thought existed, which must mean he's got a lot of experience. Um, they're here today to talk about the immersive business program and how it can help you and your business to get involved with the next generation of technologies. Over to you. Hello. Oh, it's lovely to be here. It's so nice. Um, I believe Tony's just going to upload my uh, PowerPoint, but just as he does that, I thought I'd introduce myself. I am... Um... Oh, there we go. Real microphones, it's so nice. Um, so I'm Rose Goodship. I'm one of the business engagement um, people based at the Immersive Business Programme. We are a ERDF funded project, which is supported by Famas University and Exeter University in partnership to work with businesses based in Cornwall. And my job is to engage and work with businesses across the region so that they can, they can explore and adopt immersive tools for their business. And then Gren here is just going to introduce himself as well. Hello, I'm Gren Spencer. I'm Immersive Technical Specialist uh, for Immersive Business. I, I hate acronyms and um, move this way. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Um, I have a long background in creating uh, bespoke VR and AR environments for universities, for industry, for entertainment, um, uh, for Universal Studios, for people like BAE Systems. Um, so quite varied. And, uh, and now I find myself in very, very lovely, sunny, sunny Falmouth. <laughs> So Immersive Business is a brand new facility based at Tremo campus. Um, we're really lucky that we are part of this wonderful community that's blossoming of co-collaborative spaces that people can come and explore and work with us in. Um, we have a beautiful facility that we would really, really uh, like to invite you in. Um, because one of the things about immersive technology is it's really difficult to understand unless you've been in it and you've experienced it and you can understand it that way. So I'm going to attempt to play a video that should, oh, it's not gonna play. It's gonna be one of those. What the video would have done <laughs> is given you a good example of the use of the Oculus Quest um, used for spatial computing. The video showed a, um, a great introduction to how tools that are actually relatively cheap to adopt are actually increasingly being used in collaborative working spaces as ways of working together, even though you're miles apart, and actually looking at multiple bits of information at once. It also explored the use of um, uh, using spatial computing for exploring designs. Specifically, this one was looking at the use of textiles and how designs can be adapted and used in different ways. I will send that on to everyone uh, in the chat if, um, if possible at the end of this. So what, what is immersive? One of my favorite definitions is that it's about being there and also being them. It gives you the opportunity to be in the information, in the data, in the story, in a totally different way from a different type of perspective. And that's why it's so exciting. As you can see, this is another photo of our, of our facility that was developed on a, the Insta Z1. This is a camera that's a 360 camera that gives you the ability to explore a 360 image. So now we can enter right into the facility. You can see that we have a great, great space that you're able to come into and network in. And it's going to keep moving my PowerPoint. And we also have a facility filled with a great amount of equipment. This in particular is, is an AR um, glass called the HoloLens. We also have HoloLens too. Gren, can you tell us a little bit about our um, HoloLens equipment on the facility? Uh, yeah, we do. We have multiple HoloLens 2s um, along with some other AR um, uh, hardware. Uh, that kind of couples up with the Windows Mixed Reality headsets that we use. And we're trying to keep this platform uh, together. We're, we're finding that that kind of platform is the um, the sort of benchmark spatial computing sort of platform at the moment and, uh, and a good one for us to work in. Um, so we 
we have access to that. We, um, we also allow uh, our clients and collaborators to, uh, to build to those headsets, test things out before they actually purchase them because they're, you know, they're not cheap, they're three grand. It's a, a little bit of an outlay if you're not quite sure it's going to do what you want it to do. So we, um, we sort of employ that methodology of, of having that hardware there and the expertise for you to be able to come in and, um, and build to these things and try them out. So we're being uh, brilliantly moved on in our presentation here as it is deciding to play as we're talking. But the other slides that we were going through, it showed a great examples of different types of headsets that we have within the space and also 360 um, capture. We have the Titan camera, which is a monoscopic and stereoscopic camera. That is here that we've got, well, hey, that's brilliant. Um, these, these are the types of things that you, come, you can come to the facility and have a play with and see how, how you could use them and incorporate them within your business. The great thing about the Titan is that you can have both the stereoscopic and the monoscopic, so you can, you can have that 3D view, and then we can look at the process of how you transfer that into a headset. So another thing we have in the facility is a group of computers, of high processing computers, that enable you to explore those editing processes. This paired with a facility of motion capture and other ways of looking at how you can animate your designs and looking, um, looking to create more immersive content, we can work with you to look at what might be feasible for your business, how you might approach this process. So really we're a collaborative space, looking at multiples of different art forms and mediums of different immersive technologies. And hopefully we're gonna move on now. <laughs> immersive business can help you by looking at either coming into the space, working one-to-one -one with our lovely consultants here, um, but also providing access to key bits of equipment. These tools are expensive and actually it's a great time to try it out, see if it works for you before you make an investment or before you uh, make the, those common mistakes or come up against problems and then you can work with the consultants on that. As a cutting edge facility as well, we're constantly looking forward. And so this is about future proofing our offering. And then really what we want to see is the Southwest being a hub for immersive technologies and development within the region. And that's what we want to do. We want to create a network. So one of the key things we would like to, would like to do is build this network and work with you to provide businesses in Cornwall a network of opportunities to work. The virtual collaboration spaces as well um, are available for businesses to work in. So this is a, a use of programs like Engage, where you can, you can look at holding events in VR and you can have these virtual spaces. So that would mean that actually you could run around in avatars in today's session. So please do come chat to us if that's something you would like to look at. We also have a program of masterclasses and digital skills uh, toolkits um, that you can work with as well. There's two, there's two pathways for the Immersive Business Project. One is Hummingbird, which is an initial engagement and a 12-hour business assist where you can explore and understand what it takes to adopt this technology. It's that real space to give you some R&D opportunity. And then the Hummingbird, the Hummingbird option is a product, product prototype pathway. This is looking at that initial proof of, proof of con concept and you can work with our fabulous Gwen Spencer and Johnny Pope on our team to look at what the next steps will be to develop an immersive product for your business. Moving, hopefully moving onwards. So, <laughs> so an eligible business um, is a business that is registered in the Southwest and has received under 200,000 pounds in state aid over the past three fiscal years. If, if you're uncertain what that means, please do get in touch and we'll talk with you about your eligibility status and the process to get in touch and get engaged with the wonderful team you're currently seeing on the screen is just to send us an email and we can see and we can work with you. We'll happily welcome you and show you around the facility and actually get you the opportunity to get in some of this gear and really explore it and understand it further. We're a broad team with a variety of expertise, including from an immersive perspective, but also from a fundraising and a business skills um, perspective, if you're looking at your digital transformation process, and you'll see, you'll be able to interact with us further. If you would like to connect with us or know a little bit more when perhaps our PowerPoint isn't moving incredibly fast, um, you can do that on, on the email here. Um, and if you wanted to ask any questions or anything to, to Grand Marcus here, then please do so. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.